Hello, this is Lori Michelle, the Mashiach, with excerpts from my book and Dr. Wayne Dyer's. There are no accidents. God's timing is perfect. It doesn't feel perfect in the moment. Sometimes, sometimes things unfold in a perfect way and lots of people will say, oh, lucky, lucky me, lucky break. There was a parking spot just when I needed it and things unfold exactly on time the way you needed it to. I'm trying very hard to post this video to uplift your spirits right now, but I'm in an apartment that's very noisy right now. So I'm gonna do my best and accept that the timing is perfect and there are no accidents. So if there's lots of noise and drilling noises from my neighbors, forgive me. I had no idea I was gonna be posting this today. And if you happen to click on this video, this video will make you smile. I hope because what I'm about to share with you, you cannot invent as a person. A person cannot invent what I'm about to share with you. And I had no idea that I was going to speak about this today. And this morning, the king of the universe, Hashem, woke me up and he said to me, my timing is perfect. He said, everything will happen in its divine time. You can just imagine what I was speaking about with him. I'm doing this work for years. It's almost a dozen years. And two years ago, I hit publish on this book and I've been talking about it for two years and I have a following, teeny weeny following. A bunch of you have read my book. More people are buying my book as the world takes a nosedive straight into hell. And if you don't think this world's in hell right now, then you need a little more pain. You have it too good. And I don't think you have it too good. If you've clicked on this, please watch till the end because this, God willing, will lift your soul at a time when you need it. Because it's bad right now, pandemic, what's happening in America, around the world is gut-wrenching. So this morning, he said those words to me. He said, Lori, my timing is perfect. Everything will happen in its divine time. And I was talking to him about Running on Love, the global charity for world peace, which I have been working on and I found it right after my awakening in 2009. I discovered running marathons for charity was a euphoric experience. And right after my awakening, my life became a train wreck and someone approached me, my brother, my older brother, and he said that he had a friend who was suffering. His family was suffering. His daughter had cancer and they were struggling financially because in America, insurance and medical bills can ruin you, literally, financially in America. They don't have insurance like I have here now in Israel, socialized medicine. That's a topic for another day. So he was struggling and he, my brother asked me, did I know of any way to help this family? And I had been running marathons for charity for years. And I said, this is it. This is what I've been waiting for. I'm going to found a charity now called Running on Love. I had been running on love as a hobby, my own hobby. I had a logo, I had everything, but I needed a moment, a moment of truth to found the charity Running on Love. And the first event was running a half marathon in Philadelphia for this family and raising funds for them. 
And so after I did that, I decided I needed to have an event. So I took money from my savings, my life savings, after I left my marital home. It's, a, it's all in here, the story's in here, of my divorce, it was terrible. I was, I was bankrupt really by my divorce, but I'm in the heat of a divorce. I had to leave my marital home and I'm living in Morristown, New Jersey, and I decide to have a 5K running on love event for a charity that I envisioned was going to be one day a global charity for world peace. And that's exactly what it is, but it's not there now. Fast forward to today, this morning, I have had this charity since 2009. I hosted two 5K events and it drove me into near bankruptcy. I never declared bankruptcy. And this morning, Hashem woke me to those words, Lori, my timing is perfect. It will happen in its divine time. So when I sat down this morning and I said, what am I posting today? He said, you're going to read an excerpt from your book about how you founded this charity and how I helped you connect the dots that you're really Mashiach. And I showed you one day that it's really me and you're really the Mashiach. And I knew exactly which passage he was talking about. So I'm going to read that for you today. But it led to a conversation. Please keep listening. I know this sounds like, oh, she's going on and on, but it, it all has a purpose and it's all on purpose, not an accident and all in his divine time. So I started talking to him and said, yeah, I remember that morning or that day that you told me to look something up online. And it was a wow moment showing me that I'm really Mashiach and running on love is really the charity for world peace. And so I said, but you know, I'm thinking about the timing of my book and how hard I worked to write my book. And my book took three years and I never intended for it to take that long. And I did three rounds of review and revisions before I left for America to read the printed proof copy. And then I was gonna hit publish and it was gonna go online and it took longer than I thought. It took many more revision cycles and three more months. And there's a key moment when I realized it was time to publish my book and it has to do with Wayne Dyer. So I'll get to that. I'm gonna share my screen. This is worth watching because this is proof of God, this video. If you ever thought there was an accident that happened in your life. This will change your perspective, I promise. And in the middle of the third wave of coronavirus and people dying and what's going on in America, please watch this whole video because it's, wow, he's so great. I had no idea I was gonna be doing this today. So I'm going to read from my book the first passage, and then I'll get to Wayne Dyer and show you how it all connects in the end. This is probably gonna be a long video, but trust me, it's worth it. It's all him. So I'm gonna actually share my screen. Oh, he said, read the first paragraph first. So it's from the Torah part two. Yes, I'm calling it that, and that's what he calls it. Page 226. Building Running on Love, the Charity for World Peace. Um, I, am, I had already explained I was going through a horrible divorce, losing money, lose, I was, thought I was losing my children, my whole life was crumbling, and I decided to invest in a 5K run in Montclair, New Jersey, Running on Love in Montclair. So if you know me, you know about that event I hosted too. This was the first one. 
Building Running on Love, the charity for world peace. While this horror was going on around me, I tried to focus on building my love, Running on Love. The original date for Running on Love in Montclair was November 11th, 2012. One day, while I was home working in my Mars Town apartment, Hashem instructed me to Google the date 11, 11, 12, and put the word Bible after it. What came up on my computer screen nearly made me fall off my chair. The search result directed me to prophecy from the prophet Isaiah. And now I'm going to share my screen. It gets better. If you've already read my book, trust me, keep watching. Share screen. Okay, here's the passage. And it shall come to pass that one day the Lord shall continue to apply his hand a second time to acquire the rest of his people that will remain from Assyria and from Egypt and from Pathros and from Cush and from Elam and from Sumeria and from Hamath and from the islands of the sea and he shall raise a banner to the nations and he shall gather the lost of Israel and the scattered ones of Judah. He shall gather from the four corners of the earth. This passage was one of many personal confirmations I received from Hashem over the years that it was truly him speaking to me and guiding me. This passage of prophecy was about Hashem's Mashiach gathering all the Jewish children from the four corners of the earth to return to Israel, where I live right now. And I'm going to continue one more paragraph. He told me that my charity, Running on Love, was part of his plan for world redemption and continuously told me that I was his chosen Mashiach, although I was sure I was journeying and speaking with Hashem. I still wasn't sure that I was truly the world's Mashiach. It sounded too grandiose a title for someone like me, but I was certain that my work was divine. So I worked steadily on my dream and vision of running on love, becoming a global charity. So I'm gonna continue and tell you there's other confirmations even just after this one in this section of the book where he kept showing me things that I would never have found. I never would have put into a search engine the date of my first Running on Love 5K event and the word Bible next to it to come up with Isaiah's passage about Mashiach. That should be a huge wow but it gets better. When I said, he woke me this morning and he said, Lori, my timing is perfect. I said, okay, Hashem. And then he said, you're going to read this passage today. And then I was just happening, I just happened to remember how long it took to, to finish my book. And I went to America thinking that I was gonna hit publish in September, October, and it became November. By November 30th, Thanksgiving weekend, I think it was, I'm in America, still proofreading this book for maybe the 10th time because I kept finding typos. It's very hard to edit a book. I don't know if you've ever done that before. And I was being a perfectionist and going through the book over and over again, not just me, but a friend of mine and kept nitpicking every little thing. So on Thanksgiving weekend, I decided to go to the library and I picked up 
a book of my favorite author, Wayne Dyer. I love Dr. Dyer. I talk about him all the time. And he's actually, Hashem has brought him to me to speak to me. But I'm going to share what happened in November on Thanksgiving weekend while I was proofreading for, I don't know how many times this book. And here it is. This is the book I was reading. I can see clearly now. So I started reading this book and this book was not an accident, all in divine timing because I got to page 27 and I was reading and I'll read for you what it was about. It was about timing and time. And I'm gonna wait a second, I'm gonna do something here. Annotate. Perhaps my knowing back in 1954 was one possibility of a future event being present at what I now think of as the past. But if time is an illusion and oneness is what truly defines our experience, then the idea of past and future must also be an illusion. And if this seems wacky and undecipherable to you, at it often does to me, at, I said, at, this is a, a renowned author with a publisher with all kinds of editors. And I found a typo. And I started laughing and I said, Hashem, it's time to publish my book. If Wayne Dyer can publish this book with all of his money and his fame and have a typo in his book, the timing of it to show it to me, to say, it's time, let it go. It's good. And the passage itself, if you're watching, is about timing and time, and it goes on and on, and it's very esoteric, and it's about living in a dream state. Consider that for one third of your life, you are in a non-time dimension, and everything is possible, and the only way you know for certain that you were dreaming is to awaken and look back at it. And I read this, and I started laughing, and I said, Wayne, you were busy smoking the hoochie. It's a little too esoteric for me, for Mashiach. But is anybody saying, wow? I read this passage on Thanksgiving weekend. I didn't have any idea that I was, it was gonna take me three months and countless revisions. And I published this book, I hit publish on my 59th birthday. My birthday on the, the seventh night, eighth day of Hanukkah. That night I lit eight candles. Do you think I timed it that way? No. I went to America on Labor Day and I thought that I was getting my printed proof copy and I would boop, 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 make a few corrections. And no, it took many rounds of revisions. And Wayne Dyer shows up while I'm proofreading my book to show me that a world renowned multimillionaire author, motivational speaker, had a typo in his book. And the paragraph was about time. And today, I had no idea that I was going to read about Isaiah, 
Wayne Dyer, his typo, and the whole thing. I had no idea. Could you make that up? You think, oh, well, so what? Well, if you're thinking so what, then nothing's going to please you. He said, oh, yes, it will. Ugh. He just said, it's coming. He sang right now, and you are going to cry. And you are going to rejoice. And you are going to cry. Tears of love, empathy, compassion. And he just said, tears of joy that God is real, the words of Hashem. He's right here, I'm telling you, no accidents. He woke me up to those words. I had no idea what I was going to speak about today. And I didn't even realize at the time when I read from Wayne Dyer's book, who I love, that that paragraph was about timing and how perfect the timing was when I did finally hit publish on this book. It was perfect. And so now as I lament that we're not getting together, why is it taking so long? He said, this morning, my timing is perfect. It will happen in its divine time. So I'm waiting on you guys and I'm waving this book like a flag. Come on, people. I can't make this up. Do you understand that? He does this stuff to me all the time. And all I want to do is share him with you. I'm speaking to him in real time. He shows me images and we talk about them as he shows me the movies. I don't really know anybody who's like that, do you? He just said Moses. <laughs> Moses, I love Moses. He's my guy. Listen, people, I hope this uplifted you. We're going through a lot. It looks like a horror show, and it is, but it's all on purpose. It's all on time. It all has meaning, and we got to go through the war sadly, to come through it and get to the other side, which is world peace, world redemption. And he shows me pictures of it, images, movies, 3D. And you're there. And I have to tell you, you all look even happier than me. You are euphoric. So wake up. This is real. I'm not a faker. I can't invent that. 11, 11, 12, Isaiah, what? <laughs> Wayne Dyer, a typo? And it's about time? His passage was about time? I'm joking that he was smoking the hoochie, but he, he got a little out there for me. I'm very down to earth for someone who talks to God. <laughs> He's laughing at me. I hope you're smiling. This will get better, but we have to come together to make it better. It's your job and it's mine too. Peace on earth. Let's do it. Come on.